<coughs> Good afternoon. This is Wednesday the 29th of May and this is Dorothy Simon sitting in for Jim Lakey at Cable Channel 3. You can also get us on the web at sandylandcenter.org sandylandcenter.org Today's weather right now in the square the wind is really whistling and moaning and um, lots of activity in the wind and it will be that way for the next six hours and as it will be mostly cloudy with gusty winds at 30 to 35 miles per hour. The temperature today should rise to about 72 degrees um, and a high of 77 really. It should go to as high as 77. And there is a 60% chance of rain with scattered thunderstorms uh, and damaging winds, hail and possible tornado uh, with some storms. Tonight the temperature should go to 63 degrees with variable clouds and a strong thunderstorms, um, damaging winds and large hail and a possible tornado. So look out for that windy conditions, look out for broken limbs and things like that as we go about our day today. For the next couple of days on Thursday there is isolated thunderstorms in the air with a high of 84 and, to, and on Thursday night it, the low should be right at 62 with a 30% chance of rain. And on Friday it should be partly cloudy with a high of 85 and a low of 56. And on Saturday also partly cloudy with a high of 79 and a low of 53. We want to wish a happy anniversary to Kim and Helen Halliman. Uh, if you see them, wish them a happy anniversary. And uh, the Friends of the Library, uh, they have a saying here that says, reading is a privileged pleasure because each of us enjoys it quite, quite complex in ways not replicable by anyone else. So they are for reading and so they are encouraging the children to dig into reading over the summer and they're inviting the kindergarten through the fifth grade to register before June the 1st for their um, summer reading programs. So we want to keep the kids reading this summer. And they still have that Dare to Dream project on, uh, on display until May the 31st. So go by the library and um, maybe sign up and read with the kids and encourage young people to read. And the Trinity Community Church, they have started their Vacation Bible School. And they want you to still um, come and attend. It's between 2 and 4.30. 4 uh, it started yesterday and it will go on until Friday. And it's for ages 4 through the completion of the 6th grade. And there's transportation that is provided from St. John to Hudson. And the bus will leave the square right at 1.35. And will return about 4.55. And don't miss this kind of Kingdom of Adventure as the kids learn to put God's, put on God's armor. The Jubilee was quite a success and congratulations to the city and all the volunteers who worked so hard to make it fun for everyone. I know I, this was my first Jubilee and I enjoyed it as the city um, uh, celebrated the 100th year of the fountain and it was all very nicely done. And if you see Geraldine Rose, do congratulate her. She was elected or selected to be the Lady of the Year. So congratulations especially to, to Gener Geraldine. Uh, it was a very wonderful affair. Um, the Maxwell Center for lunch today, they have on their menu um, some beef stew, ham and beans, steamed cabbage, 
stewed tomatoes, cornbread, and plums. And tomorrow they have chicken tetrazzini, peas, Italian um, vegetables, bread, and a tropical fruit salad. So very enticing for the summer. Um, and our thought for today, blessed are those who can give without remembering and take without forgetting. Blessed are those who can give without remembering and take without forgetting. That's a great thought. Good afternoon.